Okay. Now we want to learn about the Pulse program. We have our music running, but there's no pulse. We just set a pulse uh, of eight. There's four bytes uh, in one line. Uh, the first one is the pulse width, uh, and eight is the middle. So if you have eight, it's a totally square wave, where the wavelength uh, is the same. You know, it goes uh, ten in the minus, then it goes ten in the plus, and then ten in the minus again. It's totally square. The pulse width, um, you see, it gets thinner, the sound gets thinner, the, the lower the width is. Let's just keep it at 8. <clears throat> the second byte is. Um, the sweep, um, you can go from one pulse width to another. So we can we can go from one to eight with speed one. Let's try this. The third byte is the speed. Go from one to eight. There's no result. Uh, you have to loop it. Um, loop to line one. This is the jump. Jump to line one. And uh, it's a continuous sweep, so we add 40. Uh, please look in the manual for these values. You can enter 40, 80, and C. 80 and C. And zero, of course. But look them up in the manual what they do. to have a longer a longer period to be able to hear the pulse evolving and a lower tone perhaps press uh, F8 to go down in octave and F7 to go, go up I can hear it moving. Let's try something that sounds like Galway. Well, it's not working as I want. Go from 2 to 4 with speed 2. But you clearly hear the difference if I take away everything, then the sound is just straight. Um, or we could make it a really 
really fast one go from tree to a continuous sweep oh yeah we just set the sustain so it becomes more like a lead sound Now you can really hear the pulse. Let's try this Galway stuff. Press home to go to the top. I just go up two octaves. Okay, so that was the pulse. Uh, That's uh, a typical lead sound, you no. Know, uh you can hear it going wow, wow, wow. Okay. Um, Well, basically that was the pulse program, but you can use more lines, you know, you can um, jump to line two, see two, jump to line two. It's still the same pulse program, it's just uh, getting longer um, and, and, and you keep the same width, but instead of going from three to seven, now we go from D all the way down to 1 <coughs> at a <coughs> half the speed and then you jump to line 1 again and then we need to make this longer so I press the insert key and my sequence gets longer you see now it's 3 F long So now it's switching. First, it completes this this line. It goes from three to seven with speed forty five, and <clears throat> and back again. And when it's finished, it goes from D to one. It means it goes downward. First, it goes upwards the pulse, and then it goes downwards with the half speed, and then it loops the pulse program. And you can make it as long as you want. I think basically that was it about the Pulse program. Uh, read about it in the manual. Uh, just one thing, if you, if you just want to use one uh, single uh, Pulse instead of a program, you press the Shift S, you go to the sound. And uh, if you just want a Pulse with a 4 and nothing else, just a static Pulse width, you just write 4 and you just add 80 so it says 84 now listen to the sound now I can change it directly here so that's a completely static pulse no program it's not using these lines at this moment if i want to use the pulse program i write i want to use number one okay that was it